Big slap. Meg enraged as Sarah Rafferty cuts the Duchess off in Suits PR Instagram photo. It was recently discovered that Sarah Rafferty chose the first pick to promote that Suits is back on Netflix, but Meghan Markle, who seems to have a good relationship with the actress, was not mentioned at all. Specifically, Sarah Rafferty shared a photo with the title, quote, Cause for Celebration. All 134 episodes of Suits are back on Netflix and currently Lucky 3 in shows today. Perhaps you've heard from I Am Gabriel Math that he met someone who might hold the bringing record 17 times. Anyone think that they can beat it? Cheers to you suitors. Happy summer. According to a source, Meghan Markle and Sarah's relationship gradually cracked when a story about how Meghan would be out with Sarah and another female co-star pumped on the internet. In particular, Meghan pretended that she would have these fans from some fan club she had going showing up, and they would be a few sketchy looking guys who looked like incels, and they would rush up and ask her and her only for her autograph, and the woman couldn't leave until she signed all their autographs since they rode together. And weirdly, these fans would only ever ask Meghan for her autograph, not the two more famous women standing right in front of her. Eventually, Sarah and the other woman would go sit in the car with a disgusted look on their face, so I think they caught on that Megan was basically arranging with these guys to always show up to make herself seem way more famous than she really is. This news came after the first eight seasons of legal drama just hit the streaming service on June 17th, and the series has already claimed the number three spot on Netflix's list of most watched shows. Suits is about a corporate lawyer named Harvey Specter, who is forced to adapt when a new partner joins the firm. His team consists of himself and three other powerful attorneys, and they work together while maintaining personal and professional relationships. Marco portrays a supporting character named Rachel Zane, a lawyer who's trying to break free of her father's shadow. Although Rachel is opposed to dating a co-worker, she soon meets and develops a close-knit bond with another lawyer, Mike Ross. Suits originally premiered back in 2011 on USA Network. It ran for seven seasons before Markle announced that she was exiting the show. The show continued without her for two more seasons, and the episodes featured a new lawyer, Samantha Wheeler. Previously, series creator Aaron Korsh took to Twitter last week to tease the move to Netflix. Turns out on June 17th, hashtag Suits will move from Amazon Prime to Netflix in the U.S., so if you haven't been watching Suits on Amazon, now would be the time to start not watching it on Netflix. However, he then laid bare Meghan Markle's dirty plan to overshadow King Charles' birthday event after being banned from the event. Really hurt by the birthday snub, huh? Markle always trying to outshine the royal family on all and any day that England is celebrating. It's so pathetic. I'd deeply regret to have her in my project. Moreover, due to a consequence of Sussex's staged car chase, Netflix plans to filter Suits content and remove almost all of Meghan's appearances in this legal drama. As a result, followers of the Duchess may feel alienated from the big entertainment platform. It comes after one of the political journalists called Herbal Gunasti revealed that Americans never considered Meghan Markle as a star. When she became infamous in the UK as the Hollywood actress dating Prince Harry, most Americans asked simply, Who? But now she has finally found her role as the discredited face of a degenerating America. Meghan has become the poster child for behavior which seems to have infected the country and is rapidly spreading throughout the entire world. Until the turn of the century, American film stars and Hollywood A-listers were in huge demand, revered across the world as hard-working icons to universally admire and respect. As a Californian, she is striving to portray herself as a Hollywood star without paying the dues that her hard-working and immensely more talented forebears did to acquire similar status. Many people in the U.S. now see Meghan purely as an opportunist, leveraging the royal profile of a weak husband to build their own celebrity brand as the politically ambitious 41-year-old prepares sooner or later to run for public office.